Next boundary condition is boundary between two perfect dielectric materials. Boundary between two perfect dielectric materials. Let us consider the boundary between two perfect dielectric materials. One dielectric has a permittivity epsilon 1 and other dielectric has permittivity epsilon 2. So the interface boundary between two perfect dielectric materials shown in figure. And this is the boundary line. So this is the boundary line. So this is region 1. This is region 1 and this is region 2. Dielectric material 1, dielectric material medium 2. Dielectric material medium 1 and medium 2. In medium 1, the permittivity is epsilon 1. In medium 2, the permittivity is epsilon 2. In medium 1, the tangential component of the electric field intensity is E tangential 1. In medium 2, the tangential component of the electric field intensity is E tangential 2. In medium 1, the normal component of the electric field intensity is E normal 1. And in medium 2, the normal component of the electric field intensity is E normal 2. In medium 1, the tangential and normal component of the electric flux density is D tangential 1 and D normal 1. And in, in medium 2, the tangential components and normal components of the electric flux density are D tangential 2, D normal 2. So let us find the boundary conditions. So to determine the boundary conditions, let us use closed rectangular path and Gaussian surface. So to determine boundary conditions, let us use closed rectangular path and Gaussian surface shown in figure. So consider a closed rectangular path A, B, C, D, A rectangular in shape shown in figure. That rectangular width is delta W and height is delta H. Delta H. It is placed, uh, the rectangular path is placed in such a way that delta H by 2 is in medium 1 and delta H by 2 is in medium 2. Delta H by 2 is in region 1 and remaining delta H by 2 is in region 2. So we know that, we know that conservative nature of the field, a Maxwell equation, uh, one of the Maxwell equation, close the line integral of e bar dot dl bar is equal to 0. So now here, the closed path can be evaluated in clockwise direction. So that is a to b, b to c, c to d and d to a. So in this rectangular path, Half of the rectangular path is in region 1 and remaining half is in region 2. So this rectangular path is divided into separated by the boundary and this is point 1, this is point 2. So the closed line integral of E bar dot dl bar can be divided into 6 parts that is integral A to B E bar dot dl bar plus integral B to 2 E bar dot dl bar plus integral 2 to c e bar dot dl bar plus integral c to d e bar dot dl bar plus integral d to 1 e bar dot dl bar plus integral 1 to a e bar dot dl bar. So the closed line integral e bar dot dl bar can be distributed can be divided into 6 parts. So that is this is an equation. In medium 1, tangential components and normal components. In medium 2, tangential component and normal components of electric field intensity, electric flux density, and permittivity of the mediums already explained, already discussed. Now, for the rectangle to be reduced, 
rectangle to be reduced means that height will be decreases. Height will be reduced. Height of the rectangle will be reduced. Height of the rectangle will be reduced. As delta tends to delta h tends to zero, the path integral b to c and d to a becomes zero. Height reduces as delta h tends to zero. The path integral b to c and d to a becomes zero. So the integrals integral integral a to b so integral b to c e over dl bar plus integral d to a e over dl bar is equal to zero so now the portion a to b is in the dielectric medium one is in dielectric medium one as the corresponding component of electric field intensity is e tangential one as the portion a to b direction that is tangential to the surface so, integral a to b e over the dl bar is equal dl bar is equal e tangential one into integral a to b dl so what, what is, is the width of the path a to b delta w so that is equal e tangential one into delta w and the next calculate the path c to d the path c to d is similar to the same as path a to b but in opposite direction so the path the path the path integral c to d e bar dot dl bar is equal minus e tangential to delta w the path c to d is in region 2 region 2 in region 2 what is the tangential component of the electric field intensity e tangential 2 so the path c to d is in opposite to the path a to b so therefore integral c to integral c, uh, c to d e bar dot dl bar is equal minus e tangential to delta w substitute all these components all these paths into Close the line integral of e bar dot dl bar is equal to zero expression. We have we get e tangential one into delta w plus path b to c that is zero. That integral is zero minus path c to d minus e tangential to delta w plus path d to a value is zero is equal to zero. So that is equal e tangential one minus e tangential two into delta w is equal to zero. So it is equal e tangential one is equal e tangential two. So the tangential component of the electric field intensity is same at the boundary between two perfect dielectric materials. The boundary between two perfect dielectric materials, the tangential component of the electric field intensity is same. Next, calculate tangential component of the electric flux density using the relation. D is equal to epsilon into E bar. So using that relation, E tangential 1 is D tangential 1 by epsilon 1, E tangential 2 is D epsilon uh, D tangential 2 by epsilon 2. So therefore, D tangential 1 by epsilon 1 is equal to D tangential by epsilon 2. So this is the concept of boundary between two perfect dielectric materials.